IR sensors on the bottom to detect the, the tabletop. And then it's uh, all powered by an STM32 uh, with a you know, differential drive motor controller on there. Um, and to program it into like what mode I'm going to do, I rotate it to the right angle and use the IMU there. And so now it's looking through little LEDs at me. And once it's on the table for a second, it'll take off. Like a 50 percent chance that it knocks the goal right off. Yay! Yeah. Now I can uh, set it up. <laughs> yeah. So now I can set it up to do phase two by rotating it to a different angle. Hey, Fur. I don't want you to feel any pressure. <laughs> 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 so that's phase two. And then uh, phase one, uh, to sort of make it a little bit more interesting, right, I've sped the robot up a little bit, and so we're actually looking out ahead with the laser so that then we slow down in time. He's basically, if, if I'm going at pretty much max speed, uh, I can't stop before the end of the table when I see these clip sensors go off. Mm. Don't really want to do phase four, so we're going to use the laser to detect that. Phase four is it's okay to fall off the table. Your robot still has to run when you put it back on. So you see it slow down there when it gets up to the end. We'll do a 180 and we'll come back. You can actually do a phase four before you do a phase one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so that's phase one. Are, are you actually measuring? Are you any measuring on the table or anything? No. The only thing that's measured through odometry is the 90 degree, the 180 degree turn. And then what I am doing is I am accumulating my position in an XY grid. And so that's where you saw like it was a little bit off to the side, so it starts to correct back. That control loop's not super well tuned. That's why it was kind of like wandering, but it like followed a line down the center pretty much because it knows that like, hey, I didn't quite get to the 180, you know, it's like 182 degrees, and as I move forward, you know, I'm mm. off to the side a little bit. Um, in fix in in actually making that all work. I actually had to fix a bug in the arm sine cosine functions as part of the DSP library because if you had uh, a negative angle that was like negative one five hundred and twelve, there was a, like a wraparound error in the code and it would cause the robot to suddenly like veer and shoot off oh, the no. table. Um, so we fixed that. I'm still like up upstreaming that to arm to actually fix it for everybody. Jeez. Excellent job. Hey. Thank you. Thank you.